Hey there ladies and gentlemen, today I am bringing you an RU match against Bolts and Bombers. Well, sort of an RU match. I mean, it's definitely RU, but it, match is questionable. Uh, and you will see why towards the end. So, um, the story behind this was that I had just had my RU open first round match and gotten trounced, completely annihilated by a Reuniclus. And uh, afterwards I went on Twitter and was like, help me fix my team so it's not destroyed by Reuniclus. And I have some good ideas. But, uh, truth be told, I'm probably not going to implement any of them before Auras. Um, so I'll probably wait until the metagame stabilizes after Auras before I have any more RU battles. Uh, and so that is what it is. But so anyway, I, um, I said, can we have, uh, to, to Bolts and Bombers, I was like, RU match, please don't bring your in the quiz. And he was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. Um, and so here we are. So I, I realized that this wasn't the best, um, lead matchup, but I figured, eh, it's okay, I've got Sturdy, I can survive, and I want to get up my rocks because he has no spinner. And so he burns me first turn, and that's a bit lame, but I do have a cleric, so it's really not the end of the world. Um, so Hadarak, my Steelix, sets up its rocks, and its job is done, except for the fact that, based on a lot of the Pokemon on his team, I'm going to want to have it around, and it would be nice if it were at a little bit closer to full health. Um, mainly Doughblade, or Dewblade, I'm going to say Doughblade for this narration. If that's wrong, then, oh well. Um, uh, and Exploud are both um, somewhat walled usually by um, by Steelix, and it would have been nice to have Steelix at full health for those Pokemon, but that's not where I am. Here I could have gone for the Heal Bell, and, or at least a Wish, um, but I decided to be greedy and I went for a Toxic to try to cripple that um, Soul King. Unfortunately, he predicted that quite well, went into his Doughblade, and now I'm like, well, shoot, because I can't do anything to, to this Doughblade. Um, now there's a chance this double A can do nothing to me as well, because if it, say, doesn't have, um, Sacred Sword, if it's the Rest Talk set, then it can't do anything to me, but I just can't take that chance. Um, so I go ahead and switch out. He go oh, he's got Iron Head, so he does have one move that at least could, that could hit my, um, audio. So I go ahead and go out into Tuesday, my Quillfish, and this thing walls and pretty much pretty well counters Doughblade, um, because if he tries to set up a Swords Dance, I can just haze that away. So he goes now out, and so I figured he would probably switch out here, and he goes out into his Exploud, and I go ahead and set up my first round of Spikes. Again, it's really to my advantage that he has no Spinner. Uh, he does have two Regenerators on his team, um, but after three rounds of Entry Hazards, uh, and, or excuse me, four rounds of entry hazards, um, he'll be taking more damage switching in with his regenerators than he will gain from regenerator. So, uh, he goes for the boom burst here. I realized I had no one who could really take a boom burst, and uh, so I went out into my most special defensive Pokemon, George III, to see how well it would take it, and the answer is not well. Uh, and not just because it was a crit. Even without the crit, that would have been an easy two-hit KO. So the crit kind of sucked, but oh well. But what it means is that I have to fodder for someone, and so I decided I'm going to fodder Hatterack, and that sucks. Um, so Hadarak is now going to go down to a Boom Burst, a resisted Boom Burst, but it was no health to speak of, so it didn't really matter. Um, so um, Hadarak goes down, and now I have lost a pretty good counter for quite a few Pokemon on his team. I go now out into my uh, Rotom Cut, which is Scarf, and I just am going to hit it with the most powerful move I have, because I need that thing dead. Um, so he unfortunately uh, predicts that quite well. I go for the Leaf Storm and he sends out his Amoongus and uh, it's not going to do anything. So yeah, not a great situation. And here is where it would have also been nice to have Steel. Well, I was going to say it would have been nice to have Steelix because I could have switched into the predicted Sludge Bomb. But truth be told, it would have just spored next turn and that wouldn't have been great. So now I've got to switch out into my own, um, <clears throat> excuse me, my own uh, Amoongus. And so Among Us versus Among Us would not have been fun. He decided to switch out here, go out into his bacon. Um, that is his, um, I want to call it human because that's what I named mine. No, it's it's an Embor. And um, I'm still pissed that Embor, well, actually probably Embor is not NU in this generation. I should actually look that up. Anyway, I go out now out into Quillfish because even if he goes for Wild Charge, Wild Charge has awful base power. Um, yeah, he, and you see, he does Wild Charge. But he's at minus one and yeah, that's not even a three-hit KO, or maybe it's a th no, it, no, I don't think it's a three-hit KO after um, re after recovery with Black Sludge. So that means I am free to set up another round of spikes, and so these these entry hazards are really racking up. So even though I am I've, I'm down one Pokemon and he's got all six, I'm still liking the situation. So 
Um, he goes out into his slow king, he takes all those rounds of entry hazards, and I go ahead and set up more. So uh, we're st he's still at the point where he's gaining more health by switching out with regenerator than he's losing um, bringing it back in. But, um, you know, it's it's getting close. And after this, I'll actually put up the calculus as to when you get to 33 and a, and a third percent. Excuse me. So anyway, I go out into my George III just to see what special move he would use, and he goes for the Psy Shock, and um, it does uh, it, not that not that much damage, not that much damage at all. So now I'm going to go for the Slack Off, and I go first, which is very nice. Um, but I figured I, there's not really much he could do against me, so I get up to 177, so almost full as he goes for the Grass Knot. Um, so I was at 76. And yeah, I would have survived um, the Grass Knot even if he had gone first, but it would have been close. Uh, and so I'm just glad that I didn't have to deal with that and didn't have to worry about that at all. So, go ahead and switch out George III here. Um, because I just don't want to... I, I figure this is a good time to send out Audino. And, um, you know, if I... The smart move here would be to go for Wish as he goes out into his um, Exploud. Uh, and uh, so yeah, so I, I think I can take I think I can take one boom burst um, since I am at full health. Here he decides to switch out, probably very wisely. Goes out on his dublade, uh, get dublade uh, again, predicting my toxic, uh, and also knowing that he can set up on me quite easily. So I do go for the toxic, and I just don't know why I keep falling for that. That's this is just stupid of me. So I, here I go for the wish because I'm pretty sure he's going to set up, and quillfish needs a little bit of recovery. That's the bottom line. So he goes for the Swords Dance, and I'm okay with that because Quillfish should be able to take a plus one whatever, um, and should be able to then haze, cripple him back. Really, haze is not maybe the best move there, but okay, so I go out into Tuesday, um, get him down to plus one rather than plus two, and he goes for the Shadow Claw. And I'm like, okay, that's fine, I should survive, and I don't survive with nearly as much health as I, th as I thought I would. So uh, luckily, I'm back up to almost full with that wish. Thank God for wish passing. And here I'm going to go for the haze um, so that he's at um, zero. Uh, I prefer he be at minus one, I guess. So he goes for a swords dance, um, just trying to set up on me. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to keep uh, hazing you. That's fine. Um, you know, I'm recovering more health each turn. So uh, I go ahead and go for the haze. It's really okay. Really, really okay as he goes for the Shadow Claw, and I'm curious, so really his best move is actually to just keep going for Shadow Claw, because I'm not regaining that much in recovery, so um, here I decide I'm going to attack just to see how much it'll do. I do outspeed, which is nice, um, and yeah, I can't do anything to, I can't do anything to him. Waterfall does no damage whatsoever, so he goes ahead and Swords Dances again, um, and yeah. It's, it, I mean, it's not a great situation for me. Um, Quillfish does not actually counter this guy as much as I was thinking. So he goes for the Shadow Sneak before I can go for the Haze. It gets me down to 63, uh, and yeah, it's not good. Not a good situation at all. So I do eliminate his stat changes. Um, and, you know, I do have... So now I've seen that he's not the Rest Talk set, and that means that I could put him to sleep. So uh, that is something that's very worthwhile noting. And so now he, out he goes into his Amoongus. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, he had me here. He could have, he could have taken out my uh, my quillfish. So now I'm going to go ahead and set up my spikes. And now I've gotten up all four rounds of entry hazards that I can possibly set up. I don't carry toxic spikes because poison types, mainly Amoongus, are really common in the tier. So what will be the point? So um, yeah, he decides to resign here. And so that's why I was like, maybe this isn't really a match. So he resigned even though he was up 6-5. And, you know, I don't blame him. He was like, I can't really do anything. You, This was just going to be a painful match. I hate stall. And so I was like, okay, that's fine. That's valid. Um, well, yeah, it's, it's valid. It's fine. Um, so, Hoax, I hope you don't feel betrayed by that abrupt ending. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge so long.